Hi, this is Gabe Tran of, of NCPA's Front End Overhaul, and today we're going to discuss why it's so important to shop the competition and how shopping the competition will help you stay competitive. Did you know that this toothpaste, personal care products, can chase customers away? Customers are very aware of what their personal care product should cost. And when they're too high, it can cast a shadow across the entire store. There are two types of product in your stores. There's the price sensitive items, which is typically personal care products, and blind items. Let's talk a little bit more about the price sensitive categories. Oral hygiene, deodorant, shampoo, men's shaving, and feminine hygiene. You might be thinking, mm, I don't sell a whole lot of those products. And I think you might be on to something, because if you're not selling much of the products we just discussed, that's a red flag that it's time to go out and shop your competition. Let's talk a little bit about the items you don't have to spend a whole lot of time looking at. And those are what we call the blind items. And those categories are found in foot care, eye care, not to be confused with contact solution. Anything to do with contacts typically is very price sensitive. So, ear care is a blind item in the category, and so is in first aid. Laxatives is a blind item, but not to be confused with antacids. People who take antacids are very aware of what the cost of the product is that's giving them relief. Why is this so important? Why do we need to know what the price sensitive items are and what they cost in our store compared to our competition? Well, no matter what you think of Amazon, Jeff Bezos is an intelligent man and he did say this, high prices delude trust. So that means if our personal care product is a bit too high in our stores, it could affect the way people think of about the prices in our pharmacy, our DME section, and even into the gift department. High prices on personal care products can affect your entire store. It's not worth the gamble. So what are you going to do? Get ready. You're going to go on a road trip. First, you're going to stop to the independents. I would probably take a serious look at all the independents within a two-mile radius of your store. Grocery stores are either going to be high at the high end of the retail spectrum, taking advantage of the traffic coming into the store, or they may be very low end of the spectrum. The OTC at times can be considered a loss leader for a grocery store. It's still important to go inside and check out the grocery store and see exactly what the, where they are in OTC retail. And then you're going to check out the chains, and I would go on a perimeter of about five miles. Now, none of this is written in stone. You do whatever you think is right for your location. Let's talk about where you don't have to go. Now, you know where you need to go, but I don't think you need to bother with chains 15 miles out. More importantly, do not feel you have to compete with dollar stores or the big box discount stores. The consumer doesn't expect you to compete with these people, and there's no reason why you need to. How can you check your com competition's retails? Well, you can grab a phone, go into the competition's locations, and have someone sit at their desk at your headquarters, and you can just read prices off. It's fun, I can tell you from personal experience, but I have to warn you. If security sees you, they're probably going to show you to the door. There are other ways. It's a fun way. Grab $50 and go shopping. Make yourself a personal list. 
choose something from oral hygiene, pain relief, cough and cold, shampoo, antacids, and maybe a major brand vitamin. Or customize your list. Check out these categories. What are the five categories that you're the weakest in in sales? Make your list and take it to the competition and let's find out why. Don't forget the private label. It's a big part of our business. So when you're comparing the brands, you'll want to take a look at the compare to products. Hey, while you're there, take a look at see what are people actually buying. I call it a basket check. It's important to know what your competition's retails are, but it's also good to know what is your competition selling and is it something that you're missing out? Is it something that you should have in your stores? Now, I don't expect you to carry everything you find in the big chains, but you might find a niche item that you're losing out on. Let's talk about your store for a minute. Take the $50 challenge. I'd like you to get a Delsum, an Advil, a Bear Aspirin, an A&T ointment, Pepto-Bismol, Sensodyne toothpaste, and Afrin off your shelf. Make sure they're brand name products and it's this amount. You actually, you can go online and download this form. Take a look at the products we just talked about and see what your total is. If it's over $50, it's a red flag and it's time to go out to check your competition. Because if it's over $50, there's a good chance you're a bit high for your area. One more thing. Price stickers should never be stuck on the front of an item. First, it harms the appearance of the item. And more importantly, stickers on the front makes the price become the focal point, lessening the interest of the benefits and the features of the item. Encouraging a customer to stare at a price can make them think it's expensive. Here's your goal. I'm not asking you to be the lowest. No need to. But I am asking you not to be the most expensive. Like Goldilocks. Be somewhere in the middle. Thanks for watching this short video. I hope you'll jump in your car and go and check out your competition and become even more competitive. Don't let personal care products ruin your image. Thank you. Thank you for being a member of NCPA and make sure to come back to this site as we will be adding more training videos. Be well.